From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's every kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's like it's 101, the ongoing on-air adults education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. Audrey, you're next in the classroom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, thank you for taking my call. I appreciate it's it. It's a public service. <laughs> thank you. The reason why I called is I, I listen to you often, and I don't dare call because I see how you rip up everyone who calls in. But just listening to you today, this evening in particular, I, I heard you call a caller out and hang up on her for use of filthy, foul language. Yet, and still, every time I listen to you on the radio, you're calling Everyone, and not just in general terms, you're using derogatory language. Der- or- derogatory language and obscene language are two different things. Well, you'll say you fil- you'll you'll say you dirty whore or you're a whore is not a whore is legal to say on the radio and television, by the way. And okay, uh, I'm talking about to- language that has been deemed acceptable by okay. our federal government. In regards to curse words, are all curse words acceptable language? I, yeah, I don't know what you call a curse word, dear, but uh, the obvious words are not permissible. You can't use the F word, the C word, the T word, the MF word. Uh, there are certain words you just absolutely under no circumstances can use on the air. The okay, words well, I use are permissible. Okay. So well, when, we bleep some, when we bleep somebody, they're using illegal, obscene language. Okay, I, I would agree with that, especially because you're regulated by guidelines. Right. How, however, I was listening last evening as well, because I can't resist, I'll admit it, and you called someone the B word. A bitch. That's okay. Bitch is yeah. legal. Didn't you ever hear the oh. Elton John song, The oh. Bitch is Back? Okay, well, all right. Well, I didn't know bitch was legal, of course. Bitch is legal. Guidelines. Yes. I still think it's derogatory and filthy, but if you're allowed to say it, I guess that's a whole other That's story. correct. So anyhow, I will um, end this call before you try to rip me to shreds. And, because uh, you really had nothing. <laughs> Say that again? Because you really had nothing anyway. Well, no, I still think your language is filthy regardless. I uh, consider any curse. I'm just being I, honest. Hey, you can say what you wish. Filthy language is filthy language. Well, I'm just being honest. The- I'm an honest person. I speak honestly and forthrightly. Well, would you use that language on your mother? Well, my mother is not alive, so I don't I think I'd use any language on my mother. God rest her soul, and I apologize about that. But you and my mother, my that. mother, by the way, was not a bitch. She was anything but a bitch. I would agree. So you, if she acted like a bitch, I would. Wow. Okay. Well. If she acted like a bitch, which she never did in all her sixty-four years, she never acted like a bitch, and she was not a bitch. That's, I'm glad to hear that. But because, those uh, who I call bitches are bitches. Well, uh, that's... By the way, I think that's your train arriving there. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm in the car. I'm just near the train track. So ah. In regards to that... Don't I, try to uh, outrace the Metrolink. <laughs> in Simi Valley, you know how it is. There's tons of tracks that go all the way from Simi to the, the valley and all around. So, mm. anyhow, um, I appreciate you taking my car with, uh, call. Would you mind blowing me up, Tom? I'll blow you up, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's up, Tom? I'm doing okay. I'm good. All right. So check it out. You know that girl I called earlier about cheating on her boyfriend? Um, I'm that P-word guy that puts up with that. Why? Good question. 
I'll answer it for you because you've got no game and you're afraid if you break up with your girlfriend, you'll never meet another hot piece of ass like that again. That, yeah, that could be it. That, that is it. Hey, hey, check it out. I'm short, fat, bald, and hairy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and because you are, she knows she can get away with murder. Hey, I, I, I'm done with the obscene language. From now on, one F word and you're gone. I'm not even going to wait. I'm not going to explain it to you. Uh, you should know by now the F word's not allowed on a broadcast radio station. It's not. It's not. So from now on, <laughs> I have zero tolerance policy. You say the F word one time, you're gone. I'm done. I'm done. Mercedes, you're on Lycus 101. Mr. Lycus, good evening to you. Good evening. Uh, th this is my uh, first time calling. I and, can tell. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite intrigued. I was bored because I'm sick and tired of hearing the same songs on the radio and nothing substantive coming from it. That's, uh, believe me, that provides our best source of customers. So I started listening to you, and I was curious to get to know you a little bit so that maybe I can either become a listener or decide that I'm going to tell everybody I know not to listen to you. Well, uh, in fact, it's more likely you're going to tell everybody you know not to listen, so make sure <laughs> my name is spelled L-E-Y-K-I-S. Yeah, it's uh, here in Los Angeles. We're on ninety-seven point one KLSX uh, from three to eight p.m. So be sure to know what station to tell them not to tune into <laughs> when you well, tell. Now I have to develop an opinion, but I was. Oh, don't worry. I can already tell by the tone of your voice where this is going. So I figure I'd save you the time. <laughs> Chance, I don't have to. I can tell by the way you're calling in like a librarian or a school marm or like we're about to convene a board of education meeting here. I can tell where this is going. So I'm but, saving but you the time. I'm telling you. We're the most fun people and most open-minded. You know? I, I don't know about that. So what, what, by the way, it's like Chinese water torture. When are you going to get to your criticism of me, which I know is coming? Okay. What I was going to ask you is this. I'm trying to get to know you a little bit, like I said, as a host. And you said that you had um, four previous marriages, correct? Uh, darling, that is very old news, and regular listeners to this show have known this but for I told years. You, I told you I'm new. Okay, but what, then if that's the case, then why would you uh, be such a strong advocate uh, against people being married? Uh, that because I was married four times. Yeah, but that means that at some point. Many at different points in your life, you agreed to being married. So and and, and right by to... being married, I learned that I was wrong. And because I have learned from that experience, I am passing my wisdom on to others. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, I, I, I had to agree with you. I, I've heard that you've been, of course, you know, I'm 37 years old, so I've heard that you're pretty crude in your approach and when you, how you talk about women, um, which, which was another reason why I was intrigued. I said, I'm bored. I'm going to listen to him. And uh, so I found it to be entertaining. And the fact that this one lady called in had the audacity to call you and tell you that, you know, she doesn't know why he doesn't want to get married and he's dragging his feet to come to hear that she, she was the cheater uh, really, really, really threw me back. And furthermore, did it throw me back that she, you know, uh, what, what, did she, what did she say? Oh, yeah, that, that you called her a whore. And I know that you're getting a lot of response from that. But I was just super shocked that you were able to say those things, and then the, the last call that I heard, she was... Well, truth is defense. She is a whore. <laughs> well, that, that's the reason why I think I might continue listening to you and get to know or find the conversation to be... That's why four and a half million people have decided to listen to me. Well, well, Mr. Likas, congratulations. You're doing a good job. It is entertaining. I don't agree with you. Um, I've been married, and I'm divorced. So now, let me understand... You have changed your opinion of me during the time you were holding to talk to me? Um, maybe a little bit because I'm hearing that... Oh, no, not really. No, still no. I'm not convinced because... Well, I, you had some criticism that you told my screener about that you failed to re uh, reveal to me. No, well, I've heard. I haven't listened to you. I haven't ever listened to your show. So you didn't let that stop you from telling my screener about what your critique of me was. I left your screener. Now, how did I know I was being screened? Well, oh, some, before you talk to me, you talk to someone else. Oh, okay. That's yeah, called a, that's called a screener. Oh, well, I know. So I know you told us you told the screener what you wanted to talk about, and as you spoke, he typed it in on a screen. Uh huh. So I know it's accurate. 
you know that. You know and that yet, like, oh, despite the fact that you told him that you had a critique of me, when by the time you get on the air, you never revealed what that critique was. Well, the critique is, I think you're you're too that you're 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 lopsided, you're two faced. You know, you were you've been married four times, and you're telling people not to get married. So that's my critique. So you said I'm filled with double standards. That's what you said. That's it. What other double standards? You said I'm filled with them. You're filled with it because you said the other one was. Is that one double standard or I'm filled with double standards? <laughs> okay, okay. Now you uh, my cup is brimming over with double standards. The, the, the other double, one of the other double standards that I just heard you say. See, there's even more. Turn, you, yeah, exactly. How is it? How See, is you were that? backpedaling on me. Well, that's two because you made me turn it down and then that's when I heard that other. That other what is the system. other one? I didn't even hear it. The fact that you said that you were that you're double standard because someone can you you can call someone a whore a slut or that doesn't a mean bitch. I have a double standard. A caller can call someone a bitch a whore or a slut too. But Where's the double but, standard? But you're appalled by the word. No, it's not that I'm appalled. People should know what's legal to say on a federally licensed broadcast facility and what is not. Profession. We're not. Our profession isn't to be. Please, uh, are you telling me that you don't know that the f word cannot be said on television or on no, the radio? I, no, no, I do know that. You do know that. Well, guess what? Knowledge. Countless callers every day who should know that say the F word anyway. Like right. the caller I was just criticizing. Well, well that's true. That's so true. are you going to tell what? That person is being disingenuous. Uh, they are pretending. Ooh, hee, 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 tee, hee. Oh, how did that slip out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. So tell me this. Do you ever feel that even after those four relationships, do you think that it's just because you got cheated on and because you're getting older? I only, by the way, I only, got che I only got cheated on by one of the four. Mm -hmm. But it probably happened to be your last one, obviously. No. No? Why no. do you have so much passion for the topic on cheaters then? Uh, it's not that I have so much passion for that. I have passion for a lot of topics. Well, you certainly have carried on for a good while while I've been in the car. Okay? That happens so to be this particular episode of the show. Okay. Okay. Well, see. Once you are a regular listener, you will know there are plenty of things I'm passionate about. <laughs> I'm passionate about gold diggers who take guys to the cleaners. I'm passionate about guys who pay alimony. I'm passionate about guys who are stupid enough to get married or move in with their girlfriends. There's plenty of stuff I'm passionate about. Okay. Well, I see. I see. I see. Well, you know, I happen to be a woman of my own means. I was married and divorced, like I told you. That's why. Yeah. Now you've got his means, and now no, you No, can... I don't have his means, actually. No, I never. I, oh. I received $300 a month. I'm not ashamed to say so, because I'm raising my son on my own. I've told him I don't need his money. All I need him to pay is his insurance. I've owned four restaurants, and I do not need his money. I went to Cal State University at Northridge. I did not take any loans out. I paid my own way through. Nobody paid for it. No, I don't need anybody's well, money. Well, if you were more attractive, you probably would have taken it for a lot more. I'm a beauty queen. I happen to have been Miss Ventura County when I was a little girl. Miss no, Ventura County. Wow. Yes. yes. And my so, boyfriend is... I can imagine that one. Miss Oxnard beat Miss Channel Islands, huh? It was a big That's one. <laughs> don't make fun of where I'm from. I'll bet that was a lot of hot chicks there. Well, uh, well, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely... If they if rolled right off the farm and into the beauty pageant, huh? I said, if I continue to listen to your show, I'll email you a picture. I'm happy to be very beautiful, very attractive. I'm very in good shape. What do you I look like? I need a man to, to make me feel... What do you uh, look like? What do you look like? I'm 5'6". I weigh about 120 pounds. Um, I'm, I'm really into fitness. I'm an am amateur triathlete. I do um, spinning. Um, I I run. I was a triathlete. I, I didn't athlete. ask you what your exercise routine is. I asked what you look like. What do I look like? Okay, I have brown eyes. Um, I have uh, natural curly hair to my to my shoulders. Mm, I have medium sized lips, a small nose. You got decent knockers. Skin. No, I don't believe in fake boobs. I have. No, I said, do you have decent knockers? I didn't say do you have fake knockers. Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm a B cup. I'll take good. that. You're a B cup. Okay. I'm a B cup. I'm mm -hmm. a full B cup. Uh huh. Um, I don't, I don't need a man to tell me what it is that is acceptable or, or beautiful, but I know that I'm beautiful. Ah. That being said. Yes. Everything is beautiful in its own oh, I'm way. Also, I'm also, as Ray Cuban Stevens descent, once said. So huh? I'm also Cuban descent, so I'm a Latina, and I'm proud to be. Mm hmm. Um, I have pretty teeth. I have white teeth. I have a dentist. A, 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 uh, an uncle who's a dentist went to UCLA in cosmetology, so he ha does good on my teeth. I'm, I'm, I'm a beautiful woman. That's why I don't need uh -huh. to be married. That's why I agree with your show. 
That's why I'm kind of, kind, of leaning, kind of leaning to the fact that, okay, but I want to know how you establish your opinion and how you're too lopsided and how you're not fair because you say that you've been married four times. Well, how, how do how you do don't, don't, Darling, let me give you a little talk radio 101 here. Don't repeat everything you already said. <laughs> okay, you got it. All right. Well, hey, I'm done with the conversation. Thank you for, for having me, and I'll, I'll continue listening to you. Okay. To All right, I'm done with the conversation, too. <laughs> Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. I don't want 29 dimensions of compatibility. I want one-dimensional underwear. I don't want to pull it off. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Likas 101. I am your professor. Thank you for tuning in, Wes, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much. All right, man. I need your advice and your help, your guidance, your wisdom, because you are the man from what I hear and what I've been hearing. I do believe you are the man. Huh? All right, Tom, here's the situation. Uh, recently, I was divorced about two years ago. Wait a minute. How old are you? I'm 24 now. So you already were married once. What were you, 19 when you got married? Let me guess. Uh, Wait, let me guess. Military, uh, right? Yeah, I was in the Marines. How Sunday. did I know? Okay. So you're in, uh, it, you're in the Marines. You get married at like 19 or 18 or something like that. Yep. And then she turned out to be the usual whore that you marry when you're on a military base, right? Actually, no. Then why'd you get divorced? Um, Boredom. I boredom. I was bored out of my freaking mind. Why'd you get married? I, I had a lot to do with my mother, actually, at the time, just pressuring me. Uh, Your mother pressured you to get married to someone? Yeah, I told me I shouldn't be leaving with a, living with a girl. We, we had been together for six years, telling me I shouldn't be living with a girl that I'm not married to. And How old were you when you got married? I was about 20, 21. So you were with a girl from the time you were 14? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> You have a real problem with being alone, don't you? Yeah. Why is that? I have no idea, Tom. Are you still in the military? No. I'm actually a truck driver right now. You know I'm what troubles me? Driver. I've said this on the air before, and I want to say it for all the military guys listening. Guys like you are out looking for Osama bin Laden. You are out there in the, the most horrific situations of war defending our country. You face death Every day. But what you can't face is an empty apartment. I believe you're right, sir. I mean, that is scary stuff. The idea that the people who are protecting our freedom aren't brave enough to come home to an empty apartment. Yeah, you're right. My God, what would you say if you're in Osama bin Laden? Hey, you'd make a good roommate. I, I, I'm looking for someone. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going. I just don't know what to do. I mean, it started off, yeah. Uh, I, I, I got the divorce. I had a different chick every night. It was, it was awesome. For like a week, and, and then what happened? For like, a, for like three months, it was just a different girl every night. And then right. I had ended up running into this girl. We know each other since middle school, and uh, we just started hooking up again. And before I knew it, I. Uh, uh, I had gotten into some trouble where I lived, so I wanted to get out of the town. It's a real, real crappy town. I mean, how did you get in to... trouble? Um, I actually shot a guy in the knee that pulled a gun out on me. You shot a guy in the knee. Yeah, but well, we are lucky you didn't run into Osama bin Laden. <laughs> so I got out of the town and I ended up moving in with her. But really nice girl. I mean, beautiful girl. So now you're nice. living with someone else. What's that? You're 24, you're divorced, and you're already living with someone else. Yeah, and I'm bored. I mean, even though I'm not And now you're bored again. Yeah. I need a girl that's going to go jump out of a plane with me. No, no, you need to live alone. I think you're right. And my friend's been telling me that I need to just let her go, and even if, I mean, it's it, and the money's not the situation. I mean, I make money, you know. I, I I drive a truck, and I don't spend my money. I'm not home to spend it. I got all this money just sitting there, and I don't know what my So, So you don't even need a roommate? No. 
So why do you have a roommate? Uh, I don't know if we go on there. I can't say that on the air. <laughs> what? Uh, I was going to say something, but I didn't want to say it on the air. What, sex? You get... I, I, I got a news. I got. Do we have? Uh, do we have uh, the news introduction here? I, this, the, I got a news flash here for you. This news is just in. Are you ready? Yeah. Big news here. <laughs> the teletype. I have to explain to Art what we need here. We need the teletype playing under me, so it will sound like a newscast. All right. <laughs> so anytime I say to a caller, "This just in," or "I've got this big story," then you play that. Okay, that's how it works. Art, still, you know, relatively new here. This just in, Wes. Uh, you don't have to live with a woman to have sex with her. More on that story as it becomes available. All right, Tom. You could have sex yeah. without living with someone. I hear you. You're just obsessed with having someone living in your place all the time. You're right. How do I get past that? I mean, uh, I just, you, I just, you I just, clearly, if you had the guts to face the Taliban, okay, uh, you have the guts to go to an apartment building, uh, go to the landlord, rent an apartment for a year, a one year lease, move uh, in, and use the bravery that you used in other countries defending our country, and see if you can protect your domain, the living room. From evil you know, intruders. Tom, I think you're right. And I think, you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do exactly what Tom's telling me. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to somebody for once. I'm gonna go get my own place, Tom, and I'm gonna call you back in like a month and tell you how happy I am. I'm All right. Sure and if you're lonely, you can call me, and I'll help you get through it. Well, I appreciate it, Tom. All right. And you keep doing what you're doing, man. I, I mean, I've only heard the show about ten times, but every time I'm in LA or driving through Dallas, I mean, I, I, I try to find the station, or my my co-driver finds it. And even if I'm asleep, I wake up and listen to the show. But uh, I appreciate you for taking the time to listen to me. Or uh, so, yeah, I think you just gave me the courage I need to to get off my butt and do it. Good for you, Wes. Good luck, I'm, and call back and let us know how you make out. I will, Tom. Thanks. Thank you. Wow. I mean, I love the guys in our military. I love you guys for what you do. I do. But so many of you have the same story. You know, you can you can be in the desert facing guys with guns on camels or whatever it is you're facing out there, and then when you come home, you're all scared to death of living in a one-bedroom apartment by yourself. I don't get it. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Don. On Lycus 101, hello. Okay, I'll tell you something. You know, uh, what you said about coming uh, home to an empty house, it's, that's all right, providing you have somebody there on weekends. I mean, if you have, you what? have somebody staying over Saturday and Sunday and uh, uh, one day during the week, so you don't mind being alone, but you've got to have that guy, that kind of thing going for you, you know. Why you do I, is that the TV in the back? What do I, wait, 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 what do I hear in the background there? Got the TV on. Turn it off. All right, we're going to turn that off. All right, well, I want you to know, I want you to know that as far as South Florida con is concerned, up until about 15 minutes ago. What did I say about uh, South listen, Florida? Up until 15 minutes ago, I thought there was only two, one, one uh, radio station that had any life, one radio personality that any, had any life in South Florida, and that guy is Don Sherwood, and that's me. But someone had called 20 minutes ago and said, you know, there's somebody on 640 AM. And this guy sounds wild. And I was listening and listening, and all of a sudden, bango, Tom Likas. Okay? Now, other than this, 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 this degenerate on the end of the dial at 560 WQAM in South Florida by the name of Neil Rogers, who I despise and actually who is not permitted to take telephone calls because I had several. I had several uh, people call up, and uh, women, you know, said, "Hey, where's Don? You know, I'm in New York, and you know, I just got to Florida, you know, and I went to Florida. I do a show. You with me, Tom? Uh, yeah. All right. So here's the story. So, we, so each woman that calls up, oh, Don, show us all the whores, all sh all whores on the show because I work with a panel. Okay. Now I call him up. 
And I said, hey, hey, Neil, what are you talking about? There's no screener. He picked it up himself. So he says, hey, Don Sherwood, yeah, die. He said, die of, of some debilitating disease. Now, in my career in radio, and I don't, in your career as well, I've never heard anybody, including Howard Stern or anybody, ever tell anybody to die? Well, needless to say, he can't get calls anymore. Beasley Radio, he cannot get any incoming calls. He could talk, but he can't get any incoming calls. Now, getting back to what you were saying about being alone, uh, I definitely uh, don't like being alone. And, I, and, and, and as far as you're concerned, you don't, you don't like to have dinner by yourself, do you? Would you go into a restaurant alone? I, I have dinner by myself all the time. Really? Yes. Can't do it. I can't do it. I gotta. I, I'll take anybody to dinner. I'll take a guy to dinner. I mean, I I just don't. You know. You know the old Steve Martin bit from Saturday Night Live. Yeah. You are you doing? By the way, are you calling to participate in Likes One Hundred and One, or are you doing a radio show here? <laughs> you know, you don't feel intimidated. Now, the Don Sherwood I know from radio has been dead since nineteen eighty three. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Believe it or not, you know, you know, uh, on the uh, Howard Stern show, there were three pictures. One was uh, one was um, uh, O.J. Simpson. The other one was uh, Marv Albert. Who do you think the third one was? I, I, what do you mean he had pictures? It's, it's Howard Stern on a radio he had show. Photographs. The third one was me. So he had know? photographs so on the radio. Because uh, we were running ads in Florida, South Florida. It says if you like Howard Stern, you'll love Don. Well, so, so let me guess, Don. Uh, what? I mean, let me know, guess. You you're on in like Pompano Beach or something on the radio. Is that where you're on? Where? What? What city in in South Florida are you on the radio? Uh, we're doing uh, the uh, we're doing a show out of Lake Worth, WPBR, and that goes uh, from uh, WPBR. South, yeah, PBR. Uh, yeah. That's thirteen forty a.m. and that. Uh, but so uh, so you but work Bobby, at WP. Let me understand this. You work at WPBR, but you me. listen to Man Talk six forty. Yeah. Can we use this as a promo? I am going to. You know? now, now, by the way, are you the professional bull riding station? Is that the deal, WPBR? Uh, PBR is. Uh, Cops Blue I Ribbon? Talk about it. It's sickening. I mean, I, I, you know, truth of the matter is, uh, this is the first day. Palm Beach Repository? I was huh? for coffee in the. In the uh, in the uh, station, and it was hidden in a back room. I, oh, I, I see. Okay. Whatever it is, but listen, you know, it's an independent station, and, you know, you were talking about this guy that was in the war. How and long that. is your show, by the way? I'm able to, uh, at least I'm able to go on the air and say that of all the uh, radio personalities, all the uh, candidates, nobody mentions the three-letter word oil. Have you heard the word oil mentioned on any station? The word oil. Any commentator, any candidate ever mentioned where the hell is the Only oil? Only when I run my fingers across your forehead. Huh? Nobody talks about it. How come? I, Why is that? I don't know. What, do you know what the topic of this particular show is right now, Don? about women. Now I'm going to tell you And you're talking women. about oil. I'm going to tell you something that a professional goes through. Now, a professional you know, what? I'm telling you, I'm a radio personality. You've said it 40 times. You are one, too. But you're on WPBR. I'm going to ask a lot of questions, okay? No, 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 it's not. Sound like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. A back row is kind of like a scooter, okay? It, it, they're fun to drive until somebody catches you. It's the Tom Likas Show. Likas 101 from Hollywood. I am your professor. At 1 800 800 Tom, that's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. This is Anna. On the top like it show, hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? No, I'm not like that. I don't talk like that, but Love I have a few show. questions for you. I listen all the time. Long oh, time on. listener, first time caller. How do you know that? I don't know. I'm guessing. Oh, good guess. I have a few <laughs> questions for you, actually. Um... The first one is a question I about know yeast why, cakes. Why do you tell men to to be alone? Like I don't understand the concept of being alone. And that I don't tell them to be alone. I tell them to live alone. Well, living alone is basically being alone. Because no, you're never going to get married. Well, uh, not getting married is a good thing. 
Why? Be somebody who doesn't like the idea of marriage. You've been married three times. As Four as times, know. and that's why I know not to get married. I right, learned by three, doing. Three is a charm, right? Well, three. I don't think everybody should try. You know, like just the, like the people who jump out the tenth floor uh, window and they live. I don't think everybody should try. I already did it. I found out what's wrong three with times. it, and now I report four three times, times, and now I'm reporting back. Come on, three times? That's like... Darling, this is, you're not the first person to call and say this. Yeah, I you, know. I, I love the, the, the smirk and the swagger in your phone call, like you just thought up something new. You're not the first person no, to say this. No, I didn't say I did. I just, I, somebody, for somebody... Well, I've explained it repeatedly. Me. I grew up, two parents, married 40 years till my dad died. That's all I knew. So I got married. When I got divorced, I thought it was my fault. Thought I did it wrong. <laughs> thought I would have to... So I got married again, then I failed again. She cheated on me. I'm like, my God, it's something what? I did. Cause my parents married 40 yeah, years. Exactly. They did. I did. I, I do it again. I went and did it again. That's why. And there's no need to be frustrated. I'm just asking. It's very frustrating because I've said this over and over. People are know, sick of it. Hey, spare me a little None bit. Of my, but no, I'm not sparing you. You're calling no. in like like you're some kind of a wise ass, and I'm yeah. I'm repeating to you what I have said to this audience no, over and just, over and over. Oh, okay. Well, the, the thing is, I wonder if this is who you really are, or this is just something that you put. You know, Fortunately for me, I, I just love this. This is the perfect crime for me. When women meet me, they go, oh, you couldn't possibly be like that. You're just a big teddy bear. Mm -hmm. And so as I'm as I'm pounding them hard, and then finally I'm like, well, I don't talk to them for a couple of weeks afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, then they go, well, you haven't called me. <laughs> I never lied about what kind of person I am. You assumed I wasn't the person that, that you thought I was. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so, darling, trust me. Yeah, you should assume I am the person I sound like I am. Oh, good. That relieves me because I know that's who you really are, which is a lot better I'm, than I, like you're No, it's, no, I am an a-hole. Oh, you are. Good. At least you're admitting I, I'm a bastard. I'm a son of a bitch. No, well, you're saying I that. build up my self-esteem by eroding the self-esteem of others. <laughs> and why, why do you hate women so much? I don't. <laughs> You don't really no. like to assume the guy's girlfriend. There's no better the place. Women, are the, the, as far as a sperm depository, it beats a milk bottle. It beats a oh. sweat sock. I don't. I don't get that. I mean, hopefully, sure I don't you need do. a guy who's your fan because I just um. Well, you probably already have. But uh, but the, those guys who had I sex with you and never those guys who had sex with you and never called you again. Yeah, that's yeah. us. <laughs> No, I don't think so. That's not. That's not. So what every I mean. guy you've ever had sex with has called you again. I'm sorry. Everybody you've ever had sex with has called you again. Uh, I don't. N n it doesn't matter if they called or not. That's. Well, oh, doesn't that matter. Important. Well, great. Then I don't feel badly about it the next time I do that to someone else. Well, I'm, one more question. What are you doing with a 21 year old? I I listened to you last night, and you were telling that you were dating. With I'm with. Well, I'm with a 21 year old until I can find yeah. an 18 year old. Well, 18, even worse. She's probably your, you know, daughter's age if you, if you were to have one. No, I, I don't know? think I do. No, but she's like half your age and you expect what from her, you know? It's, Sex. It's, what do you expect from an 18 year old? Sex. And that's it? That's all you want? Yeah. What do you have to offer to women? As, as I, I'm Tom Likas. I have money, power, and fame. Tom Likas, what? Money, name, and Money, that's it? power, and fame. That's what I have. Fame and do you share your fame with someone? No. Do you share your money with someone? Well, no. by the time they figure that out, I move on to the next victim. Oh, victim. I like how you call them victims. At least I'm honest. Really At least victim. I'm honest. Yes. Yeah, so basically you have nothing to offer to women. I, I give them what they want, which is I treat them like crap. I act like a jerk. And then they come crawling back for more. Yeah, well, I guess there's they have a lot of problems. And the amazing yeah. thing, and this is what makes it feel, it's so uh, invigorating, is that I tell them exactly what kind of person I am, and they assume I'm just saying that. So then they go ahead and have sex with me anyway, and then later on they get angry at me, and I say, wait a minute, but I told you what kind of person I am, and you didn't listen to me. Well, let me tell you this, though. And then you they know, say, well, and then they say to me, I bet, I bet, I bet, we haven't gotten to the real beauty part. We haven't gotten to the real, wait, wait, wait. We haven't gotten to the real beauty part. So then they say to me, well, I'm never going to see you again. And for me, it's like, perfect. I'm ready to move on anyway. 
Because I already got what I wanted. That That's before. perfect. We're never going to see each other again. Fantastic. If you meet a woman who wants knows what she wants and obviously she does not want you she would never end up in a bed with trust me so you're looking for women who want to to be treated like you know crap you which know is what? most women yeah and then then don't you know it's which is like most women all women are like that i didn't say all women are like that i said most women are like that but then boom all of a sudden the, the more and by the way uh, it's it, it's inversely proportional uh, the more attractive a woman is the uh -huh. lower her self esteem Really? Yes. Huh. How's your self-esteem, by the way? It's great because I have eroded and chipped away at the self-esteem of hundreds of women. And, really? and, and yes, and I, what I do is, kind of like a ghost who sucks the life out of you, I take your beaten self-esteem and I insert it into myself, thereby raising my self-esteem. <laughs> Oh, nice. And then what I do is I kind of stand at the top of the heap. I'm like on top of all this rubble. The oh. women who used to have self-esteem until I took it away from them, and then I took it for myself. Oh, very nice. And very the thing nice. is, after I've reduced their self-esteem to zero, and I'm standing up there being really confident, the more confident I am, the more yeah. likely it is they will call me again oh, and say, the easier way. will you see me again? And then I just, oh. I, I, you know, I see them once, bang them, then put them on ice for another couple of weeks. I mean, you it's 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 a brilliant, brilliant plan. They asked me how old I was. When I'm I 51 years old. I'm proud of it. Yes. How are you in bed? Are you good? I am great in bed. I yes, yes, I am. Oh, nice. Yes, I. Okay, well, you want to find you, out? Okay, I'll tell you what. I can squeeze we'll you talk, in tomorrow night. Tom, we'll talk when you're at the point where you can't have sex anymore. Well, why? Why would we wait for that? We can do it right now. Huh? No, well, because that's when that's when all of that will disappear. Oh, well, darling, yeah. uh, believe me, there's plenty others. If you have no time to squeeze me in, believe me, there's women up the block and around the corner oh, who'll do yeah. exactly oh, the same thing. God, yeah, that's why I called. I'm not one of those girls that think they're going to get someone by calling on the radio. I just darling, I will have sex you with you tomorrow. Person. I will have sex with you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You want to know how I am in bed? I'll show you. Honestly, okay, huh? honestly. I've wanted to talk to you for a really long time just to see what do you look how like? you're going to react. What do you look and, like? And the what the do way you look like? What do you look like? <laughs> I look like a human being. Two legs, two arms, and no, the rest. No, how I'm tall? Like nothing you haven't seen. How huh? tall are you, dear? Uh, tall enough. It doesn't matter, see? Short, fat, and ugly. Yeah, I I'm it. short and fat, and I'm hairy, and I have all these, like... Negative qualities about me. You can, you know, you can make fun of me. Or All right, well, if you I believe me, hot chicks always tell you what they look like. Really? Oh, yeah. So I'm not hot at all. I'm sure you're not. <laughs> no, That's I'm why not. this show offends you so much. It's, uh, I think it's amusing, to be honest with you. I just, mm. I agree with a lot of things that you say. And if men who are naive enough to believe what you say, most of the things that you say are just so, I mean, do you expect, what do you want from this society? Do you want just men to use women and women to be used or, you know? It's, yes, what's and we're happen? training the next generation, so we're going to have a, a generation. Next, if, if it goes the way you want it to go, there will be no generation. It's, it's those little sluts and whores who are in line to watch Hannah Montana, because in a few years, they're going to be the next crop. Oh, yeah. If it goes the way you want it to go, there's no... It's already well on its way. Humanity's going to go down the... Okay? I mean, that, that's how it is. Well, I, you know, I don't really think humanity's hanging in the balance, but uh, regardless... Well, I mean, yeah, we do have enough people on this earth, but doing that is not going to... Well, know, again, darling, if you were really idea. attractive, you'd tell us what you look like. So I think we know where you're coming from what? here. Why does that matter? You watch porn, enjoy yourself. I mean, you don't need me to tell you how I look like. Uh, darling, you don't have to. I you know, I know. I pretty much know how you look. Me anyway you I pretty me. much know how you look. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yes, I do. You. Oh, good. Yes, you're I do. Because if you were hot, you'd be telling me everything. Yeah, if I cared to tell you, I'd probably tell you. Well, again, the, the ones with the high self-esteem are the ones who are fat and fugly. High, high self-esteem has nothing to do with describing yourself. Oh, yes, it does. So yes, it does. Because I'm not like that. Oh, not my like God. There you go. There's a five going on four. The Tom Likas Show.